Mike Perlman here for InfosyncWorld.com, giving you the best coverage of PMA 2010. We hit the show floor with Samsung uh, in lovely Anaheim, checked out their new fleet of cameras. Got a lot of soccer mom and t-ball dad friendly cameras, but Samsung also has a couple other tricks up their sleeve and in the pipeline. Let's shoot on down that pipeline to Anaheim and check it out. Here we are folks, the camera we've all been waiting for from Samsung is the TL500 24mm wide angle lens with an f1.8 capability. Um, it's got a Schneider 3x optical zoom lens, a, an ammo LED, swivel LCD 3 inch, and an excellent responsive very cool futuristic menu system pop-up flash two dials on the top here we've got one for shot settings one for program settings and we've got a scrolling wheel in the back here much like the Canon G11 which this camera is in direct competition with lots of settings in the menu as well we've also got a dial control in the front here the Samsung TL500 will be available this spring for $449.99. I've got the Samsung TL350 with me here. This is the follow-up to the Samsung TL320. Um, Samsung has added high-speed shooting, 1,000 frames per second video recording, um, 10 frames per second continuous still shot at 10 megapixels. Um, it's got a high-speed CMOS sensor, 1080p HD video, with HDMI connectivity, so you can see right here. It's got a 5x optical zoom, 24 millimeter wide angle Schneider lens. Like the TL500, we've got a handy little control dial. One of the cool things about this camera is we have the old school analog gauges. Glad they kept that. I love it. The TL350 will ship this spring for $350. This is the Samsung SL605. This is the rugged brother to the AQ100. This thing is uh, has an anti-scratch mask, uh, metal front and dustproof uh, button pad right in the back here. Built-in flash, 12 megapixels, 5x optical zoom, and this will ship for $129.99. No HD video though, so that's what the AQ100 is for if you're in this price range. I got Samsung's AQ100 here. What does the AQ stand for? Probably Aqua, because this thing's waterproof up to 10 feet. It is a 12 megapixel camera with a 5x optical zoom, built-in flash. It has a pretty basic control panel in back with a touch panel zoom. It's very sleek, glossy, ships in a bounty of nice, bright colors. And uh, it also does 1280 by 720 HD video. This is a great camera for beginners looking to dive not too far into the water, but far enough to take it on a vacation. And it'll ship for 200 bucks.